Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Um, this video is from Mr. Chapman's book, chapter number one. And here I will be solving n chapter questions 1 dash 1, 1 dash 2, 1 dash 3, and 1. These are small questions uh, just to give you an idea uh, to have the concept. So the first question is motor shaft is spinning at a speed of 1800 revolutions per minute. What is the shaft speed in radians per second? So primarily, we need to calculate the shaft speed in radians per second. Now keep in mind this diagram. One revolution is actually equal to 2 pi radians or 360 degrees. So we'll be using this 2 pi radians uh, to convert this. And we'll be using a technique known as dimension analysis, and I'll just explain you. Uh, first of all, the, uh, um, uh, the angular speed or the uh, speed in radians or rotational speed in radians, uh, we can find from the revolutions per minute. So this is what is given, 1800 revolutions per minute. What we need to do here is that we got to have radians per second. So we need to cancel R, that is the revolutions, and we also need to cancel minutes, and we got to bring radians and seconds. So the, the technique is that first of all, we take one at a time. So like one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So we, we write R at the bottom, so this R and this R can get canceled. So what is left is radians per minute. And the next we have to cancel minutes and bring it to seconds. So like one minute we have to write at the top. So minute and minute get canceled. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we'll write that at the bottom. And now so R, R cancel, minutes, minutes cancel. So what is left is radians per second. And we will find the answer by calculating this. So using your calculator, uh, I hope you can find that it is 188.5 radians per second. This was the first part. Now question number two. A flywheel with a moment of inertia 4 kg meter square. So now this is a flywheel in a machine. And this is, uh, it has a moment of inertia and it is initially at rest. If a torque of 6 Newton meter counterclockwise is suddenly applied, so if we apply a torque from here, push it counterclockwise uh, with the force or the torque of 6 Newton meter, uh, what will be the speed of the flywheel after 5 seconds? After we have rotated for 5 seconds, what will be the speed? Express the speed in both radians per second and revolutions per minute. Uh, we uh, uh, just recall, we know this formula that force is equal to mass into acceleration. Now uh, this is valid for the linear motion. The mo motion is in the horizontal direction. But for angular motion, we have a similar formula, which is Newton's law of rotation, the torque is equal to j into a now torque is equal to j is moment of inertia and acceleration is angular acceleration a now in our case we need to find the speed in radians per second and for that the formula is that omega equal to the acceleration angular acceleration multiplied by time And from here, we can find the angular acceleration to be tau over j. We'll put this value here. Tau over j multiplied by t. And all the values are given. Value of tau is given 6, j is given 4, and time is given 5 seconds. Again, in the values, the answer is 7.5 radians per second. This is the first part. Now it's saying express the speed in radians per second and the revolutions per minute. So as we did in the last question, we have to now convert this into revolutions per minute. Same technique. 
the speed and the revolutions per minute, we have to find what is given here is the in radians per second, 1.5 radians per second. So we need to cancel radians and we need to cancel S. So first of all, we'll cancel radians of one R divided by two pi radians. So radian, radian will get canceled and the revolution will be left. And then we have to uh, remove S and get bring minutes. So 60 second at the top, so S, S will get canceled and one minute at the bottom. And now if you solve, uh, the answer will be 71.6 radians per minute. Uh, before we go to third question, we just need to understand the uh, concept of applying force on a circular body. We know that if a force is applied, then we can calculate the torque uh, with the help of force and perpendicular distance, multiplying the perpendicular distance. Now this is uh, slightly different in this case because here we are not applying the force along the uh, outer parameters. So we are applying the force at directly into the circle. And so what we have to do is, first of all, we have to find the angle between the vector r and vector f. Now this angle, uh, this angle between vector r, so here r line, and this is vector f line, so this is theta. And since this whole angle is 180, therefore this angle is 180 minus theta. Now actually we need to find this perpendicular distance. So from this triangle, the perpendicular distance will be hypotenuse multiplied by sine of the angle, so sine of 180 theta, and sine of 180 minus theta is actually sine theta. This is the answer. The torque will calculate force multiplied by perpendicular distance or force multiplied by r sine theta or r f sine theta. So we use this formula. Okay, now here is the question. A force of 10 Newton is applied to a cylinder of radius uh, 0 0.15 meters. So this is where we are applying the force. This is the radius. The moment of inertia of the cylinder is given J. What is What are the magnitude and direction of the torque on the cylinder? So that is first part. And then what is the angular acceleration of the cylinder? Two things. As we just saw, the formula for torque induced is R F sine theta. Uh, everything is given. This is theta 30 given, R given, and F given. And since you can see the by the direction of the applied force that this will rotate like this. That is counterclockwise. So we'll write it CCW or counterclockwise. Now plugging in the values. R induced will be 0 0.75 Newton meter clockwise. So this is the first part. Then the angular acceleration, we'll use the formula that we have learned. Angular acceleration is tau over J. Tau we found J is given, is given. So the angular acceleration will be 0 0.188 radians per second. And now the last question, a motor is supplying 50 newton meter of torque to its load. If the motor shaft is turning at 1500 revolutions per minute, what is the mechanical power supplied to the load involved? Now the, uh, this is actually the electrical equivalent of the mechanical power in watts. And also we have to find the power in horsepower. Okay, now the, this is this formula you have learned or you should know that the power is given by torque multiplied by the angular speed. In our case, torque is given, angular speed or the rotational speed is given in revolutions per minute. To convert it into angular speed, we have to go to radians per second. So 1500 RPM following the same technique, one minute divided by 60 seconds to cancel the uh, uh, minute part, and then two pi radian divided by one r to cancel r. So the answer will be 7854 watt.
This is for the first part. Now we know that for horsepower, one horsepower is equal to 746 watt. So we'll use this formula, get horsepower, so that is 10.5 horsepower. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments and share the videos with your friends. Thank you.